This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, which is hosting a 29-year anniversary sale. Ooh. And in honor of this anniversary, Renewal's offering 25% off windows and doors at no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com before this deal ends at the end of June. Some Philadelphia residents have mixed feelings about the cleanup in Kensington. Meanwhile, an unorthodox learning program is looking to expand. The dream of ready-to-go cocktails could become reality. Lastly, the state has a new record-breaking fish to be proud of. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker's efforts to clean up Kensington began last month, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer, and some people in the area don't really know how to feel about it. People in the immediate Kensington area have come out and praised the safety the increase in cops has brought, as well as the newfound cleanliness. But others in surrounding areas are stating that what were once Kensington problems are now theirs mainly the noticeable increase in drug dealing and use. One couple who owns a restaurant claims that the clearing of the homeless encampment and the ensuing open drug use near them has brought profits down by as much as 60%. Another big red voice by community members and business owners is the general lack of communication between them and the mayor's administration. No timeline has really been given for how long this cleanup will run for and how the neighborhood will be stabilized in the long run remains unclear. Said Deputy Commissioner Pedro Rosario, the police commander over seeing the Kensington plan, quote, It's only been a month. Is it as quick as some people would hope it would be? No. The displacement is a challenge every day, but I don't want to let this community down and say we're not responding to their concerns. A, quote, unorthodox learning program, unquote, is making its way across Pennsylvania, reports the Center Square. Called the Total Learning Experience, the program's founder, Adele Shade, explains that she, quote, unquote, reimagined what kids were being taught at schools to help them, quote, win at capitalism. Basically, the program's curriculum merges traditional lessons with business innovation. Intellectual property is strongly emphasized as well, with students and teachers both getting encouraged to capitalize on and protect any innovations they come up with by applying for patents. Those behind the program are looking to expand it further. Further information regarding its progress remains pending. The dream of being able to buy ready-to-go cocktails at stores in Pennsylvania may soon become a reality, states NorthCentralPA.com. This podcast has brought this idea before, but after a bit of a lull in information on it, a bill that would allow for retailers who already sell beer and wine to also place these ready-to-go cocktails on shelves as well has made its way through the Senate and is now waiting in the House for consideration. Said Anthony Deloney, Senior Vice President of State Government Relations at the Distilled Spirits Council of the United States, quote, This is a great first step in providing increased consumer convenience in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has a new record-breaking fish to be proud of, says PenLive. 19-year-old Christopher Barrett from Berks County hooked a white perch, which clocked in at 2 pounds, 1 ounce, which is 5 ounces heavier than the previous record. Said Christopher, who caught this fish with his father, quote, I'm so grateful for this record, but even more excited that I got to share this experience with my dad. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, visit penlive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast and to email me at todayinpa at penlive.com with any thoughts you may have. Thanks ahead of time. And of course, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMuro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for more Today in PA. This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania, which is hosting a 29-year anniversary sale. Ooh. And in honor of this anniversary, Renewal is offering 25% off windows and doors at no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Visit RenewalByAnderson.com before this deal ends at the end of June.